Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trinity Trigger. We are still exploring the area before heading over to Stahl. And if we check on the map, we only have one more location to go. That's all the way to the right before heading to our destination where... Well, since we are being chased by, let's just say, emissaries, inquisitors of Stahl. It might get very interesting when we get there. So let's That's open up this chest. Ooh, purification mills, nice. So let's check if we can go to this region as well. Well, there's nobody stopping us. The Lost Lands. Totally different music. Are we supposed to be here yet? Or is this like access to a new armor? To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Let's uh, check out the area, see how far we can go before the game actually stops us. And seeing as I'm not seeing any chest counts here, this just might be a location where the game continues after some point. Oh, it is intriguing though so something does need to happen here there, there is no reason why you create an area and there is nothing here so hmm. looks like a fallen and destroyed castle oh wait teleportation so how do we get there and first can we get in here no. Cause this is active. Where does this take us? Okay. No idea what this is, but I'm guessing uh, we're gonna find out. Out, I guess. Uh, let's see, what can we buy here? No new stuff. Oh, that's uh, what we can use to train as her for now. Uh, super potions are also easy to make for us for a lot of cheaper price. Good, love that. Hope we get uh, the super elixir recipe soon, because that would be amazing. Hmm, I get a feeling that this is like some extra dungeon for challenging uh, situations. Seeing as there's like one tablet here, one teleport. Let's see what it read. Whoso readeth these words, seek out the beast keys and undergo their trials. When the beast keys, two halls, are made one, return to this place. The beast that slumber within the earth awaits your challenge. So these are basically end game challenges. Like superior beasts to uh, test our metal. Uh, we have a few biscuits already. Can we get in here? Because there is a teleport, so... Mm. I sense a super strong monster ahead. Should I go in... So no. Nah. No, I think all these super monsters are meant for end game purposes. Ah, you know what? I saved. What the hell? Let's see how fast uh, we mm. get uh, pummeled all here. Because right. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get out of here. Yeah, even this basic uh, four monsters we are not ready yet. But like I said, I don't assume that we're gonna get through this, cause these are just normal enemies. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a boss type at the end of it. Because these are not super strong beasts. If I can defeat it with one charge. Let's see if 
very intriguing to see how far we can go. And of course, once we get a taste of how strong this monster actually is that we need to fight at the end of this, then, can, then we can decide when we want to attempt this. If there's actual endgame content, which is a slightly harder boss. Uh, and by some miracle we do tend to de defeat it, I'll just take the win. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we'll get a nice reward from it as well. Like an extra weapon level, a new weapon maybe? What should I look up? Might as well bring her back. Nope, need the vine. I'm still alive. Yes, you are. Yeah, at least stay alive till the bigger one gets here. Did we just get a move on summon in? Yep, they did. There's nothing here that we need to destroy in order to counter that. And who knows, maybe just a ridiculous amount of these enemies are what the challenge entails. Ooh. Let's be prepared for anything. That was close. All right. We're in this time for an elixir. That was close. Still so many more to come. This is giving us a nice few levels at least. Uh, I shouldn't get too confident in this. Lucky Stone 4. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there it is, the big ones. All right. All right, bit harder, but still feels doable. You can do this. Let's be prepared for anything. Getting stronger. How should we be fighting? Thank you. Yes, I don't mind for you. Alright, they were already not respawning, so I'm assuming we're gonna get another bigger size slime. Just to uh, fit with the theme here. No, that's definitely not a slime. What the hell? Tanin, the divine dragon. Yeah, we're clearly not supposed to do this right now. Really? No, 
Alright, let's just uh, get it over with, because we're not uh, even nearly strong. Look at just the slight amount of damage we're doing. Ah, that's the first time in actual death. Redo a boss fight. Hit retry after game over to revive in the area before a boss battle with HP restored to full. Uh, the boss's armor gauge will fall by 10%. It will decrease with each subsequent retry for a maximum of 50%. And no. Let's just uh, load. Because like I said, this was just a test to see uh, how well we would fare against a boss like this. And we're not there yet. But it does seem like um, we have to go through an audience first before the real boss... Uh, is allowed to be attacked and we are doing damage so it's not that we are completely useless against it, but our defense is not uh, up to snuff not yet at least all right so nice new area but uh, not yet for us yeah. So many soldiers. Is it always like this? Uh, no. Even for the main gate, this is pretty unusual. <laughs> they know we were coming. Huh. Well, would you look at that? They're actually doing their jobs for once. Yeah, wow. Usually, it's the bare minimum. You say that like it's a good thing. Don't forget, they saw us with the diamond wings. Right. We might even be on wanted posters by now. Which means the east and west gates are just as dangerous. Well, nothing else for it. Guess I'll have to ask him for help. Ask who? <laughs> a new character. The Gravekeeper in the Northern District. The graveyard itself is in the slums, right near the Arma. He's always taking care of folks there, so I bet he knows a shortcut we can use. Sounds good. Let's check it out. Well, technically, if I knew about this, I would have gone to the slums after going to Stall. Well, and since we've already <laughs> been there in the last episode, let's just uh, pop right on over. See you right there. And that's how fast we can get back to the cemetery. Ooh, he's already waiting for us. Been a while, old timer. Well, if it isn't Xandis, what brings you to my neck of the woods? Oh, you know, business. Listen, we want to get into town, quietly. Any brilliant ideas? Well, he is standing in front of a dungeon entrance, so I'm thinking I already know where we're going. <laughs> Stirring up more trouble, I take it. But if one of the nine holy lights seeks my aid, then I shall gladly give it. I'm sorry, what? Xantus, you're one of the nine lights. Uh, anybody care to explain what that is? Only those who have honored the nine saints of Solis with great deeds bear that title. Why, every oracle who serves the Temple of the Sun knows Lord Xantus's name. I... I had no idea you were so impressive. <laughs> and here we thought he was just uh, somebody that likes to get his drunk on. Well, I'm impressed, Santos. <laughs> ah, it's not as big a deal as you think. Just got recognized for knowing how to fight. <laughs> anyway, about getting into town. Ah, yes. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, right this way, if you would. enter town via the sewer just ahead do be careful all of you uh, excuse me the sewer uh, but that's filthy and stinky and to say the least uh yeah ellie what were you expecting scented candles well for a sewer that would not be a bad idea having some scented candles down there that would definitely brighten up the place do we really really have no other option I'm afraid not. Ugh, fine, fine. Why me? Why this? Of 
course. I shan't pry, but uh, I wish you good luck. Of course. Uh, do we want? I do wonder. Is fast travel re-enabled now? Because let's say we had to wait. <laughs> nope. We have to get back to. Uh, we have to get into stall and have all the things arranged there. I, ma I imagine. And at that time, I'm pretty sure we'll get some new side quests as well. Ooh, new items, new materials. New challenges. Ah, come on, Santis. Any day now. Light it already, will ya? Hey. Easy, bud. Just give me a sec. Hey. Hey, what's this? Yeah. Well, we want uh, some lights here. Probably used when they cleaned uh, the place. Yeah. Oh, cool. Can you really light this? Uh. <laughs> well, all I need is a good whack. Huh? Oh, just like the mushroom in Astrum. Uh. <laughs> it's smelly, it's damp, it's dark. Please hurry up and light it so we can leave. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, it doesn't brighten up. A Never mind. Alright, enemies we already know, so no problem there. I do wonder if the lights have a maximum time they are lit or they just keep being on as we turn them on. Because that would be most preferable for us. <laughs> Like, I would uh, trust a chest in this dungeon, really. I've seen too many uh, mimic boxes to ever trust one ever again. Why is your bar red? Does it mean you're more aggressive? It's probably going to be something like that, isn't it? I haven't noticed that before, but then <laughs> the could be just me. Alright, good. Hmm, did I miss a stop? Nope, it just went a different direction. Drainstone 2. I'm guessing uh, if we keep this up, we'll find something better than what we're using right now. Because I wouldn't mind a slight improvement with a uh, auto recovery stone in my attacker. Looks like I'm getting better. <laughs> and let me guess, the last uh, chest we're gonna find down here is the is the real one. Cause that's also indicated that there's gonna be a lot of mimic uh, boxes. In fact, there's only one chest in the area, and we already found three. Yes, uh, I didn't. I just picked one route to go, hoping it was the correct one. Alright, are you the one? Pretty good find. Yes, it is. Writhing Ruth. Alright, this is a relatively new item. Yeah, I guess we just need to find some new recipe books in order to uh, increase our roster. Well, like I said, I do want the Super Elixir one, because that would be very amazing. The perfect item to put on my quick wheel. Because Super Potion works, but it's just one person. If we can heal the entire group, that would be even better. 
And thankfully, the darkness is not too big of a problem since we are more than capable of handling the monsters we've encountered so far. But it doesn't mean I don't want an extra bit of light. We did that before, one chest. So let's keep our eyes open for more mimics. Pretty good find. First one was already the real one. No wonder. Well, when we get to stall, I think it will also be a good time for us to uh, use our trigger points and increase our weapons a little bit. It's not that we're doing badly. We just have been fighting a lot, so I'm hoping we can increase uh, our output a little bit more. But that's uh, the one of the reasons why I feel like grinding in between episodes in this game is definitely worthwhile. Because with every unlock, every level we increase it, it gets, gives us more damage to our weapon that we are using. So having it maxed out as much as possible is only an advantage to us. So yes, we need a lot of points if we want to unlock everything. But like I said, in the end, I think it's worth it. Right, let's have a quick look on the map. Oh, we are... We have perfectly walked where we need to go so far, so that's good. That way, we don't need to go back and double back on ourselves. That's so once we reach the hall, we don't have to fight all the soldiers in there. And maybe, of course, that we get our teleportation uh, again. I wouldn't mind checking up on our sister. It's been a while. Oh, wait. Alrighty, let's get going. It's been a while, Thank but you. we have poison once again. Uh, All let's right. see. Elixir wasn't on there. That was close. So since we're getting up, I'm pretty sure we are back into town, so... <laughs> Resting at the inn, here we come. Looks like the sun set while we were in there. <laughs> I'm free! Oh, it feels so good to breathe fresh air. If you'd simply breathed through your mouth, the smell wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> through my mouth? You want me to breathe sewer air through my mouth? Hey, hey! You survived, Ellie! Well done. Now, let's make a beeline for the inn. Hmm. Ah, I was hoping I got the choice. <laughs> wow, even the inn is packed. That's the capital for you, I guess. It's always busy, but around this time of year, Solius is devout come here on pilgrimage. Then no one can eavesdrop on us. Lovely. So, you got a contact here, Ellie. Yes. The one who told me Libris's followers were out to kill Cyan. Sounds like we better find this person. Okay. Where are they? I don't know. Oh, what? 
Apparently this person received a revelation from Libris, God of Harmony. I was skeptical at first, of course, but when I investigated, it was the truth. That's a little too sketchy for my taste. Yeah, getting divine messages is one thing, but it could also mean that they plotted the entire thing. Not that they have divine messages, but they just orchestrated everything, making at least the one to track down Cyan. Himself. The nerve! Ah, come on! At least admit I have a point. He does. So we don't even know where to find the guy. Oh my! Dare I presume that I am the one you seek? If he's actually the one, then yeah, that's kind of creepy, and he might know the future. You. This is the guy you were talking about. But those black robes mean... Most observant. I am Otter, a guardian in the service of His Majesty, King Bot. And why would a guardian want to help Cyan? We already met one of your pals, and they wanted to kill him. Kill him, you say? Would you care to elaborate? I see. How very troubling. But I mean you no harm. I came only to extend a formal greeting from His Majesty. The King? Why? Unfortunately, I can say no more. His Majesty would meet with you in person. Which, in turn, could mean a trap. <sighs> Sorry, pal. We ain't trusting you that easy. Not after your friend tried to take us out. What do you want to do, Cyan? I... you don't get a royal invitation every day. Let's see what he has to tell us. A little bit gullible, but uh, we can go with it. Then I have won your trust. Most excellent. I wouldn't go that far. I just don't have much of a choice here. You wound me, sir. But I shall bear your concerns in mind. Now, if you'd kindly indulge my curiosity, were you the one who summoned that trigger? No, I met him in one of the Arma. We've been traveling together ever since. At an Arma, you say? So Guardians know about triggers. Can't say I'm surprised. The royal family is very familiar with the art of summoning triggers, you see. In any case, an escort will be prepared. I shall monitor the other Guardians as well. I get a feeling like the King has a trigger himself. <laughs> Please make your way to the castle tomorrow. We shall eagerly await your arrival. First Noir in Urban Theria, and now this? I never realized that a Guardian had told me about you, Cyan. This is too much to wrap my head around. Just who are you, Cyan? <laughs> That's what I want to know. One way or another, we'll find out tomorrow. I'll just do whatever I can for now. Well, it's clear that he is one of the babies we saw in the intro of the game. What the implication of that is, we'll still have to see. I suppose you're right. It's pretty late now, so let's get some rest. <laughs> Unless we get assassinated during the night. Morning. Looks like we're all awake. Then let's head to the castle after we've made any necessary preparations. Right. Anything could happen there. Huh? We're talking about the royal castle. Shouldn't it be totally secure? Yeah, it's totally secure for the guardians and the royal family, not so much for us. The secure for them means that once we get inside, we won't be able to get out. Our enemies abducted Elise just to kill Cyan. We must remain ever vigilant. I agree. You can never be too cautious. Too true. But before we go there, let's... Uh... Let's say, let's turn over this entire town and see if we can find some encyclopedi encyclopedia pages. Hmm. Oh dear, this city is enormous. I haven't the faintest idea where anything is. Mm. Grandma, come on, let's go in. Right. Pretty big in. Right. 
Oh, when I heard the Verity Workshops ASQ was here, I had to come. It took me two days, but I made it. Good day. Ah, uh, Stalls Inn is so luxurious and roomy. Your folks are sure to love it. <laughs> oh, I was a castle guard long ago. Always had to stand up straight in the Hall of Shields. Hey there. You're a scavenger too? Oh, I bet you can't wait to check out the axe. Yes. We definitely want to check out new armors, definitely. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've traveled anywhere. I'm gonna enjoy the visit to the fullest. Hey I'm here to see my friend. I bet they're praying at the temple. Spending the night? Welcome! One night is 360 Liba. Would you like to stay? No. Oh, oh I meet a ton of people thanks to my job, but you look very familiar for some reason. Spending the night? Welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a feeling that we are related to the king here, and that's why he wants to see us. And when we get there, we probably are gonna look like him, maybe. Maybe. Like a, just a theory. And when I enjoy a game, I do tend to theorize. And I have to be honest, I am enjoying this. It's not too complex, but it has that nostalgia feel to it for me for some reason. Stahl Kingdom, Main Street. Oh yeah, this is gonna get interesting. Huh. I've seen bigger in the introduction, but plenty of people to talk to. Don't see a chest number? Hmm. So hoping for at least a couple of chests in the region. Yes. Oh, this royal city is our pride and joy. Can understand that. Correct. Stahl worships the great god of order, Solius of the Sun. Hello. Welcome to Stahl. Well, if this is the city of order and Cyan is from chaos, if he was actually the son of the king, I can understand why he want to try and get, well, not kill him, but at least dispose of him at least out of the region because if chaos is born from order that creates conflict uh, maybe that's the what's going on here ah oh, can't wait to meet the king hey ah oh, welcome to the kingdom of stall uh -huh. i see my first time in stall and boy it's everything i expected and more good day oh it's your first visit to stall our armor fortifies everything in the area we are a great wealth to the resources we mine. Okay, so there's definitely a mine near here that we can use to uh, maybe get another armor. Yay! Whoa, a fish! What to do? I think I'm already lost. Should I shop here or try to find where the craftsmen are? Well. Become a craftsman yourself. Welcome. Welcome. We have great stuff for sale. What do you think? Welcome. You won't find a bigger selection hey anywhere. No new books as of yet. Ooh, they're selling super elixirs, but they are super expensive. That's, uh, Appreciate the business. Yeah, for now. Because they are Tie really up. good. Let's be honest. No, I need a steady supply of foul smelling liquid before I'm gonna start uh, making strength and defensive pills. Thanks. Which is a good tactic uh, when we go to start fighting uh, bosses. Use a strength pill and then use our charge move. And don't accidentally use it in the dungeon just ahead of it. Alright, never mind. I think this town is a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Sir! Main Street lies ahead. <laughs> huh, I'm visiting from Hoplard. First up, the Vert Workshop HQ. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a side quest guy, I can already tell. Hiya! Yo ho, you're a sign, right? 
Limes told me all about you. Well, I can understand why. I am very good. Hey, hey you're here. Hey there. Want me to make you something? Hey. This here's the Vert Workshop HQ. <laughs> Impressive, right? Hi. The level Welcome. 4 stuff, all those level so 1 and much. 2 is way too low for us. Hiya. Welcome, we have great stuff for sale. <laughs> the Word Workshop install is our HQ. Pretty incredible place, huh? Hey there. Ooh, we do have some recipe books here. Still for level 2 though. But since they are appreciate the books thing. we don't have, I want it. I appreciate the sure thing. I do too. Welcome. Come again soon. Uh, more to visit. My boy. Oh, you can find just about anything here, but you must confirm it's high quality first. Yay! I'm shopping with my grandma. She teaches me all sorts of things. <sighs> hmm. What to do? Oh, I'm sure we can find the perfect accessory for your grandson. <laughs> oh, I just love soldiers who take their job seriously. The axe. Alright. Sir! The worst of noble quarters lies ahead. We make rounds on a set route. An easy job, but we can't afford to grow complacent. Okay, let's see. Anything more here first? Oh, smell that. This whole place reeks to high heaven. Wish they'd do something about it. What, too many fish? Ah, probably the corpses of our enemies. Sure. Ah, for merchants standing out from the crowd is the key to success. I found a nice area to set up my shop, but I wonder if I'll turn any hats. Well, with such big hats on display, that is one thing you definitely do. My orders are to guard the sewers, but ah, Pastolius, the stench. Yeah. Okay, this so this is uh, where we came out. All right, good to know. Let then we know where how everything is connected. Ah, oh, so many places. This place is huge. Oh, that's so cool. Experts, craftsmen, well stock shops. Man, this is a pretty sweet place to live. Come on in. How about you? Do you seek the blessing of Solius? Then look no further. Hello. Welcome. We've got everything you could possibly want. Yeah, then uh, become an official merchant. Hey, uh. hey, why not take a look? I wish I could. Sir. Main Street lies ahead. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, right? Right? Oh, I forgot I was laughing about. Good day. Ah, such a peaceful place. Our soldiers work so hard to keep us safe. I just had to let the soldier who passed by know how much I appreciate what he does. He was so friendly and polite too. A wonderful role model for the young ones. Pardon? Oh my, how I'm rambling. I must be boring you. If you have ever cared for conversation with an old timer, let me know. Sup? Oh, well, look who it is. Stall sure as you, ain't it? People walking the streets here never look down. Hence uh, why you can find so much stuff to pick up. Like this. Go on, take it. More order fragments. Uh, Gabriel, you're such an enigma, but I will keep being on the lookout for you. Hey, yeah. Well, His Majesty cares so much for his subjects. I can imagine a better leader. Wonderful. Oh, Prince Violet's feasts are sure extraordinary. His Majesty must be proud. That's right. Oh, nice weather today. What? This is a temple. And a temple has his graveyards. A bit sacrilegious to uh, steal the gems of a gravestone, but. Uh, if you guys won't tell, neither will I. No problem. Well, I may not look like it, but I'm a devout follower of Solius. Honest. Uh, I want 
wanna go play. I want to move in with my boyfriend in Sandheim, but my mother's an oracle of Verd. How could I ever get her to approve a follower of Chaos? Greetings. Oh, I come to pray every day just like this. <sighs> the knights diligently protect this town, and yet I still worry. What do you feel like there's something on the horizon? Because a lot of people have been hinting that things are happening in the background. Uh, my pal Lou from Astron sent me a letter. It says, I hid my greatest treasure behind the biggest mushroom in town. Wow, thanks. Okay, so when we get back to Astron, we need to find the biggest mushroom. The axe. What? Oh, uh, bored nobles chat with me on my routes from time to time. What carefree lives they lead. Well, it is the life of a noble. Uh, still worship the God of Order. We can achieve peace through order alone. Wonderful! What petrification? Everything looks like precious stones. Ah. Uh, I've heard there's a town that's all sparkly. Oh yeah? Can you tell me more about it? Because I wouldn't mind uh, being all sparkly as well. Or are they talking about the town that we started? <laughs> hmm, I want to live in a big mansion. Hey, all right. Monster Encyclopedia Twenty Nine Trends. Trends are another type of violent vegetation. These hulking creatures have the appearance of withered trees and pose a great threat to humans. Their massive frames let them unleash devastating strikes. Worse still, they are intelligent enough to hunt in packs. Worst of all, they are capable of taking hostages. Very few can even speak our languages. Just like blooms, trends are vulnerable to an onslaught of axe attacks. Ancient records mention that magic stars of the Varna are also quite effective. Just once, I would love to see one for myself. By Heinz Wood. Well, I'm sure that at least we will uh, encounter one at some point. Sir! The axe lies ahead. Hello. Those with trouble gather at the temple. I myself have prayed to the gods many, many times. I wonder if we allowed entrance. Hmm. Oh, don't just try to barrel through the axe. Tons of monsters will block your way. Sir! The Western Noble Quarter lies ahead. Still? Yay! <laughs> Soldiers are super cool. Oh, this place is gigantic. Pardon? No, oh, have you seen the armor yet? Not yet, but I am seeing potential. Yeah, we got some uh, trigger points for dispensing between the episodes, definitely. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm checking the materials. Sir. I'm checking the materials. What? Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm not slacking off. Sir. Nothing to report. Be careful in the armor! Everything's tough as nails around here, right? It's the X hardens everything nearby. It even crystallizes water. Uh -huh. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, call me the know-it-all. My family has passed down Trinity's history for generations. Would you children care to hear the ramblings of an old good? Uh, I suppose. Very good. And then allow me to share a folk tale. Stahl is the most prosperous town city in Trinistia. As I'm sure you've noticed, the local plant life is hard as iron. All thanks to the armor, of course. Indeed. The armor is known as the axe has the power of petrification. It uh, makes water like crystal and ordinary stones like precious gems. The first king of Stahl capitalized on this natural resource to develop the city. But once they used up all those precious materials, what do you think became of the miners who worked so hard to gather them? Hmm. When it could produce no further profit, those miners were driven out. 
into the stall slums. Adding insult to injury, the king then forbade unauthorized mining of petrified resources. The residents of the slums were forced into poverty. Wherever light exists, darkness also lurks nearby. That's the sad truth of our world. Alright, if you're ever in the mood, I'll be happy to spin you a tale. Very sad story if you know about it. Yeah. Ah, so this is the axe, huh? Pardon. You need special permission to enter the axe. Okay, so there is a barrier for us. Well, at least at the moment. <laughs> I want to be a scavenger when I grow up. Then I explore the axe. <laughs> I saw a fish jump. Sir, the entrance to the axe lies ahead. Sir, we work hard to guarantee our people's safety. It's my greatest honor to serve and protect. Hello. Hello and goodbye. I am very busy right now. Hello. Could someone switch with me? Hello. Almost done with today's work. <laughs> I'm waiting for my dad to get off work. Hello. The Eastern Noble Quarter lies ahead. So is it the same region we were before? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, you know what? I think I might leave it here because I feel like we have so many more quarters left to go to talk to people, to explore. I'm gonna save that for next time. Also because the save point is really close by so that would be very easy for me as a place of recognition on where to go further next time. So, until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we explore more of Stall and try to finish it off before we go talk to the king. See you then. Bye-bye.